Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at the website for Chalmers University of Technology, and they have had a recent breakthrough with creating gasoline and jet fuel alternatives from yeast. Yeast is basically a fungus, and it can feed off of sugars. So they're using glucose and creating these fuels by genetically modifying the yeast. Now, I am not a fan of genetically modifying foods as a rule, but this is for fuel purposes. So I would still test it for safety because fungal infections, yeast infections can cause harm in people and cause all sorts of bad things. So I would test it for at least worker safety for these factories. But you know what? As the yeast breaks down the sugar, it creates heat. So it can create some extra electricity from that heat, either with uh, thermal couples or, you know, peltier plates, something like that. Or maybe it could get hot enough to boil. I don't think it would get that hot, though. But there might be some ways to re-harvest that energy for other purposes. But how much energy does it take to produce the sugar that feeds the yeast? Are you using a lot of oil to produce that sugar and farm that sugar? Is there a way to do it with waste products, waste cellulose switchgrass and whatnot, that might produce a lot of uh, sugars that yeast can break down? That's the key right there. How much energy does it take to uh, at the beginning of the process, and how much energy do you get when the process is over. Well, you know, the math isn't in this article, but it is a great breakthrough trying to create yeast that can make some alternative fuels. Good luck to them. I hope they can commercialize it, and it is a great technology. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. The link to this article will be in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.